If your website is slow and you're tired of calling your hosting company and yelling at them and then they blame a plugin or they blame a theme and they put you in this whole circle of death, trust me, I have been there, it is no fun, but I got you. In this video, I'll be showing you a game-changing plugin that can literally boost your website's performance and speed with one simple click. My website is receiving a 100% performance grade for mobile devices and a 94% performance grade for desktop. And on tools.pingdom, we're receiving a 93% performance grade with our website loading under one second. Now, I would never recommend a product I don't use. I personally use this product on my website, darewilson.com. And my website is by no means a small website. We sell more than 430 products on my website, and we even load iframe on every single product page, and we're still receiving a high page speed score. So after watching this video, you're gonna walk away with an A page speed score on your WordPress website. You will no longer have to call your hosting company and yell at them. And the reviews speak for itself. So feel free to check the comments and the reviews for this product. I think the market really does find this product really useful. So let me walk you through on how to use this product. So here is the beautiful WordPress website that we're gonna optimize in this video. Now this website, it needs a little bit of help, right? On Pingdom, it's getting a C performance grade and on the Google PageSpeed Insights, it's getting a 75. So we're gonna make this website blazing fast. Now, if you're interested, this is actually a free template for Elementor. This is actually from the Solace theme. This is a theme that me and my team are currently developing where we offer hundreds of free, beautiful demos that you can use on your WordPress website. I know it looks great, but I'll be making a whole nother video on this theme uh, for another time, right? So let's go ahead now and fix this website. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to install a plugin. Now, I personally use this plugin on my website and I'll show you that in just a bit. But let's go over down over here to plugins and click on add new plugin. Now, the name of this plugin is a little weird. It's called the Seraphonite Accelerator plugin, right? Seraphonite, Seraph, Knight, oh, hold on. Okay, there it is. All right, the Seraphonite Accelerator plugin. This is the plugin right here. And again, the reviews speak for itself. Here, I'll just click on this plugin and just walk through these reviews. You'll see that a lot of people love this product. I use it on my website, it's great. And I think after you watch this video, you're gonna be thanking me. You're gonna be thanking me in the comments, watch. Anyways, so once you find this plugin, you'll click on install now, and then you'll click on activate. Okay, so we got this plugin installed. Now, really quick, let me jump over here to my website. So this is my website, darewilson.com. And as you can see right here, I actually do use this plugin. So I don't wanna BS you guys. I actually do use these products on my websites. So uh, that's why I feel confident making this video. Anyways, let's go ahead and jump back over here. Okay, so after we install the plugin, we're gonna see this accelerator. Let's go down over here and click on settings. Now, right here, you'll see this download free extended plugin. Go ahead and click on this. This is actually gonna download an enhanced version of this plugin. Now, many people in the comments ask me why this is the case. The reason why this is, is because wordpress.org places restrictions on these plugins, so they have to find a way around it. That's why, for example, you install uh, plugins with themes because you need to work around the wordpress.org guidelines. So once you get here, you'll click on download for free, and then you'll see that uh, plugin download, and then we're just gonna upload that to our website and we're good, all right? So let's go back over here and under plugins, let's click on add new plugin. And now let's upload that plugin. Upload plugin, choose the file. And here's the plugin. So this is the accelerator.zip plugin. You'll just click on open and then click on install now. All right, we're going to replace current with uploaded. So I'll click on that button there and we're good. Let's click on go back to plugin installer. And now you'll be prompted with a setup wizard. So here at the top, let's click on begin setup wizard. Okay, so now we're gonna go through this wizard. So we have two options. We have full functionality and only cache. This plugin is already a caching plugin, but if you want the full optimization settings, just go ahead and click on full functionality and click on next. Okay, now this next step is optional, but you can click on self-diagnosis. This just makes sure that the website and the plugin will work together. And if there's any conflict, it'll let you know right here. Okay, so we got no warnings, we're good. Now let's click on next. So next we need to pick our optimization mode. We have always a high score and always up-to-date content. Now I personally recommend going with the always a high score. The really only difference is, is that under this option here, uh, if you do update content, it'll actually appear right away. But in optimization mode, it'll take like, I don't know, like 20 seconds or something. So it's not that big of a difference. So for the best possible mode, I definitely recommend going with always a high score. So once you select this option, we'll then click on next. So what is the performance of your website hosting? This generally gets a feel for your website and helps the plugin utilize your websites. So we have high, medium, and we have low. 
Generally, most shared hosting will go with low. If you're on a cloud or dedicated or better, you can select medium or high. But for most people using basic shared hosting or even some sort of like default cloud hosting, you can just go with low or not sure. So I'll select low and then click on next. So the next question is, is the layout of your website universal on all devices? That means if you have a static website where it looks the same on all devices, you'll select universal, but most people have self-optimized websites for specific devices. So you're gonna select no for this option. Here, I'll click on next. And that's it, your website is now fully optimized on all devices. Now, there are some other options that we can check out. I know you're probably nosy and you wanna you know, browse around the plugin and see everything. So let's click on cache right here. Now, the options they've set here are already the optimal settings where they'll cache your websites. Uh, they'll enable gzip compression, deflate, and also compress your files as well to make sure it's fast. So you can go through the caching options, but I do recommend to leave them as is. Uh, there is an option here that I wanted to talk about. This is actually in beta, and this can actually help if you're running a large website with many people. So under exclusions, I'll go ahead and scroll down. And there is one thing I do want to talk about, and this can be for some users. If you're running a website with many people interacting, like an e-commerce website or multi-vendor websites, they have this new option in beta that I thought was really cool that will enable user cache. This means like if uh, they go to your website and it's not fully cached, they'll actually cache it for them. So they'll always see the newest version of your website without you having to manually cache your website. So uh, yeah, that's in beta, but that's a really cool feature. I just want to uh, throw that out there. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at scripts. On the next page, you'll be able to optimize your scripts. So if you want to uh, defer your critical special, or if you are running deep hooks on your website where you're adding like, you know, deep hooks in between elements, you can go ahead and turn that on or off. And scrolling down here, you can also go ahead and line critical CSS or non-critical CSS and so on and so forth. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, just ignore it, all right? Just don't, just don't touch anything, you'll break it, all right? But if you are like a developer and you're, you, know, you wanna inline your CSS, you can do all of that right here. And lastly, uh, we'll go ahead and click on content. So next we have the content section and this truly shines for Elementor, but let me go ahead and scroll down right here and just show you some of these options. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about is compression. Now by default, the, uh, the plugin will compress your images at an 80% quality. Now, the lower that you go, the images will lose quality, but the faster the website will be. So if you have like really large images on your website and you wanna compress them, you can do that right here. And the lower the quality will result in a faster website, but just make sure it's not too low because then your images will start to look terrible, right? I think 80 is the default standard, right? So we'll leave that 80 and we'll scroll down. Now, right here, you'll see lazy load is enabled and you can actually control what you want to be um, loaded later, right? Now, I personally use this on my website because I actually have a, a YouTube feed plugin, but you can enable lazy load for YouTube videos, Vimeo videos, and also the background videos for the Elementor plugin. Also video feeds for a YouTube plugin, and that's what I currently use on my website. So next we have the lazy load scripts. Now this is where this plugin really shines. Now, usually with lazy load, this only applies to images, right? However, this plugin took it upon itself to actually integrate with various plugins and elements, and it'll actually apply lazy load on Elementor elements on your websites. So when users go to your website, there's no need for these elements to load if they're on the bottom of your website, right? So you can actually apply lazy load by default for elements on your website. So not just images, which is actually really cool. And you can see here how they have tons of different, um, you know, uh, custom post types and elements that you can apply lazy load instead of just the standard images, which I thought was really cool. It also integrates with the Divi theme as well, Cadence, Avada, and a lot of other themes. So uh, yeah, I just wanted to touch base on that. I thought that was really cool. And I think this is why this plugin stands out between its competitors, because this integrates with a lot of products to also offer lazy load. So your users will have a very fast experience on your websites. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this plugin. So uh, I think I went through all of the more important options here, but now we need to check our website and make sure that it is fast. So let's go back over here to the Google PageSpeed Insights, and now let's run the test. So right here, I'll click on Analyze, and on tools.pingdom, we will also go ahead and run the test one more time. Go ahead and start the test. And after we run the test, we will now see that we have a 95% on PageSpeed Insights, and on tools.pingdom, we have a 97% performance grade where the website is loading under one second. Amazing plugin. 
Now, you can install this on as many websites as you want. It's completely for free. But of course, with every plugin, they always have a pro version. So let me just quickly go over the pro version over here. So this is their website. Um, their website looks terrible. I'm just going to tell the devs right now, this looks like a horrible landing page. For God's sake, someone please help this website with their landing page. It looks awful. But anyways, we love their products. So this is their website. And all you got to do here is click on add to cart. So this is the pro version of the plugin. It costs about 71 euros a year and you can install it on one website. Now, I'll be honest, if you check the competitors in the industry, they actually charge people 30 to $40 per month. So $71 a year is actually one of your cheapest options. And there is a free 30 day money back guarantee for any reason whatsoever. So it is a suitable option if you don't wanna to have to worry about optimization and all that stuff ever again. After about 5,000 visits on your website, they're going to take the optimization mode off and bump it into a caching plugin. So if you're getting a lot of traffic, I do recommend to get the pro version of this plugin. And you know you can always go ahead and check the plugin itself on the WordPress repo. So this is the plugin. And judging by the reviews, you're gonna see that you know people do love this plugin. It's great. It does what it says. You know, there's no BS, right? So uh, if you do want to try the pro version of this plugin, feel free. I'm not an affiliate. They don't even have an affiliate program. At least I don't think. Here, maybe I'll maybe I'll sign up. Do they have an affiliate program here? These are all like positive reviews and like maybe maybe they're fake. I don't know, but. Uh, let's see, they have an affiliate program here. I don't know if they do or not. No, they don't. So yeah, I don't make any money if you guys buy this product or not, but I personally bought it and I use it on my WordPress websites. Okay, so I hope this website helped you out with all of your slow website problems. I know it can be very frustrating when your website's slow and you don't know what's going on. It's usually like the images or the plugins and most people tend to blame the hosting right away, and that's usually not the case. So go ahead and try this plugin and see if it works for you. Also, feel free to try the Solace theme. This is a WordPress theme developed by me and my team. We're constantly adding in new features and new templates. I'll make a whole another dedicated video on it, but I just wanted to touch base on it because I thought uh, the demos look great, and I think it'd be great for your website. My name is Daryl Wilson, and I'll see you all later.